You're listening to a great blues show, and today we have a very special guest, a little bit outside the range of blues, but nevertheless, amazing music, good music, and, you know, just like the blues, it's heartfelt, and it's passionate, and it's really great. And her name is Patricia Hill. Welcome, Patricia. Hello, Denny. Thanks for having us. <laughs> well, I'm grateful that you're here. This is, this is great. I've been listening to your music, powerful, soulful R and B, maybe I don't know. Mm-hmm. You think R and B would be a good? Yeah, a little bit of R and B. A little bit of R and B. And how would you classify your music? I would describe it as soulful pop, and I have a lot of influences. So it's not mainstream pop, but we also play a lot of soul and uh, R and B, as you said. And mm-hmm. there's a little bit of gospel in one song as well. I think uh, this would be a good time for you to play your first song. The song is called "I Know What I Want," mm-hmm. and it's the the first single of the album. The album okay. came out last year in February. Okay. And there are five songs on the album, and I Know What I Want will be the first single released. The song is on her first EP, which is titled Patricia Hill. Mm-hmm. The name of the song, I Know What I Want, and I want to hear you guys play, yes. I Know What I Want. I know what I want, I want you good <laughs> yes. but you're right it has a different flavor mm-hmm. you know i didn't want to change the actual 90s yeah feel the to sound it. yeah yes. that's hard to get what singers do you try to not imitate but what are like your influences i had many influences over the years but i started out with opera singing so uh, oh, that, when I was 13 years old, so that was oh, basically the first technique oh, um, that I were, learned. Uh, yeah, were you a, a soprano, alto? Soprano. Soprano. Yeah. I started out with uh, with the 90s pop stars like Elton John and okay. Michael Jackson and uh-huh. Celine Dion and all these wow, great vocalists. Wow, you're making vocalists. me feel so very those old. Those are my idols. <laughs> wow. In the end, you know. What about people like uh, Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey? Yes. Yeah, also. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I, I look up to them. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. I mean, you have that style, though. <laughs> Thank you. Great. My brothers, they were also, like, very musical, so they always played music in the house, and my mother as well, like, in the car. We all had CDs lying around mm-hmm. and listening to the radio. So I started to, to sing, like, okay. at the same time as I started talking. <laughs> and... <laughs> And she can't talk, but she can really <laughs> sing well. And I it's music, amazing. Like yeah, ever since and yeah. So you just grew up with it. It's in your blood, yeah. and you just you I just, just can't live without it. So what's the name of the song? The second song is also an original. It's called "Strong Like a Hero," and it's the the gospel song. Let's say oh, the gospel song, <laughs> the gospel okay. pop uh, R and B. And this is also on your EP, right? You make me see the light. In dark and lonely nights Make heaven look so near Oh, uh-huh, yeah My sorrow disappear You bring me tenderness Good times and happiness You make my wish come true My one and only you Strong like a hero to Lionel that he's joining me today. I really appreciate it because I wouldn't be the singer that I am without my musicians that surround me. Wow. And I have a lot of a lot of them and I really appreciate them. So Well they <laughs> I hope that they are listening at I home think, now. Well I well I'll tell you what, would you like to besides Lionel who's like in the studio yeah. and is just wow. <laughs> I can, yeah, it's just amazing. I'm so jealous. Thank you. Would you like to just say hello to anybody while we're yes, here? Yes, of Ooh, course. So go. I go hope ahead. that we have a lot of listeners. So I basically say hello to everyone that is listening right now. Thanks for listening, and I'm looking forward to have a gig with my musicians at 27th of February. That is already in two weeks at the Radio Wien Afterwork Music Lounge. This will be the first gig of the year mm-hmm. now, and we will be co- in complete formation. So drums, bass, piano, and Lionel playing the guitar. And I'm really looking forward to that. All the songs you've sang so far are very positive. They're very, I'm in love, and mm-hmm. love is great, and don't stop doing this, and let's just, you know, you're, <laughs> you're really enjoying life and love. Yeah. Now, I know you don't write the songs. Everybody should. <laughs> Everybody should, yeah. right, exactly. But if you don't write the songs, um, the two people that do write the songs, mm-hmm. um, do you 
tell them I want this kind of song or I want a title? Like, do you have any part of the writing process at all, or do um, they just write random songs and you sing them? My own songs, my debut songs, they were already written back then, so the two of them wrote them okay. together okay. Uh, for a singer. You know, basically, they just wrote the melody and the text, mm -hmm. but it never was published. So. Okay. When I was 12 years old, I went to this producer. Yeah, 12 with years my old. Mother. Yeah, and I with was singing. With your mother, okay. Yeah, All and right. I was All singing right. there, and he said, his name is Emad Saya. I will give you this CD, and okay. you can listen to it if you like the songs, and in a couple of years, you can come back. Wow. The CD and you basically came back. got lost in my drawer. <laughs> okay. And now, like 15 years later, I found the CD, and I was listening to those songs, and I thought that they are so great. Uh, I wonder if this producer is still out there. So I this contacted him. This was 12 him. years later? Yeah, 12 years wow. later. Wow. I contacted him and he still remembered me. He said, like, yeah, no problem. I can have those songs. And Wolfgang Bayer is the composer and he knows them by heart. So I can record those songs with him, mm -hmm. like with my voice and yeah. everything. And that's what we did, basically, wow. at the beginning of 2016. It took a year to record those songs, and I tried to put a lot of my voice into it, but I didn't want to, to touch what they wrote because mm -hmm. it was already so good that I sure. didn't want to change it the yeah, way I yeah, want to have it because yeah. I said, like, no, please don't change it because they wanted to make it a little bit more modern with modern sounds. Then in the end, we you just did left it them way. Yeah. as they are, and I think that was a, a good decision. I like those songs. <laughs> I think so, too. I mean, they're, they're great songs. Songs. What would be your dream in terms of your musical evolution? I mean, mm -hmm. obviously to become famous, rich, and a billionaire. But, <laughs> um, yeah. but maybe it's less than that. Do you, are you happy just doing it the way you're doing now, or do you have Yes, I, I, I am because I know that there are a lot of people who would maybe dream of, of playing even sure. or having a band. or mm -hmm. And that is why I really appreciate it that I really found those people sharing those songs with me and that are standing behind me and that I got over the years this experience like on stage and you know every gig it doesn't matter if it's small or big every gig counts to me yeah. and it was never about the money or right. you know it's about this passion that I just want to share with musicians mm -hmm. and with people with yeah. the audience and well it definitely shows I mean the fact that's my dream your, your <laughs> passion just shows when yeah. you perform you're, I mean even here in the studio I'm watching you and your eyes are closed and you're really you're <laughs> performing as if you're on stage and that's oh. really that's an amazing <laughs> thing to watch yeah, yeah. We're running out of time here, so I think what we'll do is uh, we'll say our farewells, and then we'll play something from your CD to take Yay. us home, yeah? All right. So I want to thank cool. Patricia Hill and uh, Lionel Botsek for being here today on Danny Chicago's Blues Garage. Patricia Hill, Punktate, if you want to know <laughs> more, find out about their gigs. they got yeah. lots coming up. Thank you so much. Great music. I think you're a great new you know, musician on the scene here in Vienna. And Thanks I a lot. I think you're going to have a long, a long career. We've got uh, time to play maybe one song or a part right. of a song from your CD. Please, and you yeah. can choose. What would you like to play? That's hardcore, but I will do it. It's the last song of the album, Why Should I? Why Should I? So I'm going to play Why Should I here. It's Wolfgang's favorite. Wolfgang. Okay, so this is for Wolfgang, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, here definitely. we go.
You've been listening to Danny Chicago's Blues Garage on Orange 94.0. Tune in next time for more good music and good people.